Bienvenue, Vilgamin, come on in. It's grand finals time. It's cartel up against Notorious, and this promises to be action packed. Yes, yes, it should. Uh, this has been the battle for the ages um, across the Pro Series Cup series. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think Cartel would be too happy with me saying that because no. they've swept the floor with them almost every single time. Uh, there have been a few close occurrences where we've seen, you know, Notorious snatch a cup away, but Legend wasn't playing. And uh, another one where they were, were one game away from winning and even like two oddball points away from winning. Yep. And then they threw it and then threw the game five after that. Um it has the recipe to be an absolute classic. And, and for the final time in Halo 5, we get to see two absolute juggernaut head-to-head -head in Pro Series play. I'm very much looking forward to it. It's Cartel, the Undisputed Kings. And, well, on Notorious' side, they're going to be the ones to try and dispute it. Let's start calling this one El Clasico. As Sika immediately heads towards that overshield, gets taken down to no shield. Does he get it into his chest? No, he doesn't, but fortunately for him, he gets the burn. And now we're going to turn our attention towards Shady, who's heading towards this catwalk now, trying to get it, it secured for his team. And it looks as though Jimbo camouflage in his chest. That's three dead for Cartel and a great start if you're notorious. Yeah, everything going your way. You don't have Seeker with Overshield, obviously. Uh, I would say Red Side probably the more favoured to grab the Overshield off the start. So you nullify Seeker grabbing that one. Jimbo has camouflage and is playing his life very well. And then off screen, you have Kimbo with rockets as well. So two out of the three things you want going your way uh, at the start of the map, at least, for Notorious. Uh, but unfortunately, three down for them. And Jimbo, the last alive, is the one coming off the respawn. And, well, SLG and Shady here should combine to take him down fairly fairly shortly and honestly it's a kind of a nightmare situation good job by jimbo staying alive off screen uh, because if you go down then you're playing three versus four against cartel uh, on a stronghold game where you know they can find your spawn so so quickly so uh, really nice work there from jimbo actually staying alive yeah slg banked that lovely prediction nade off the ground spun up into jimbo's chest it looked as though it was only a matter of time before jimbo hit the respawn screen but fortunately for him managed to scramble stay alive and now kimbo in a 1v1 with slg all for blue band but fortunately kimbo let it get transferred over to the cartel power but looks though like they're gonna immediately try and transition that back in their favor yeah it's a shame that you let those extra points slip away if you're if you're notorious there but uh, you know ultimately you do get blue bend back and it looks like uh, you're gonna get catwalk there as well so you know yeah you let the triple cap go for a second but it's returned in scoring uh, going your way now it's about trying to keep this a close slayer game if you're kimbo and notorious of course you want to try and find the, the cartel players as soon as they try and go for those strongholds that's a nice reset from snipe drone you see there on the player outlines Kimbo's able to clean up a kill, and with new rockets coming up, that means the new power-ups are coming up as well. So key fight for Kimbo to win here on Catwalk. He goes down, but uh, camouflage coming up soon means Snipe Drone and Moe's will probably have to work together to, to grab this one as Jimbo across the map has burned the overshield. I like that play from Kimbo. It's done just enough to stop that Catwalk from going over towards Cartel Control. As you can see now, they still actually have that. It's still actually half capped as well, so it's nobody there to get the reset at the moment. And... Kimbo, rockets in hand, got one left in the chamber. He fires it towards the stairs. Unfortunately, he doesn't find a home and he gets taken down. But has he done enough to keep the attentions on him and maybe away from the rest of his teammates? Hey, well, this is really nice movement here from, from not only Snipe Drone, but also Moe's off screen working in tandem while Snipe Drone was pushing through blue as SLG just gets a reset there. Moe's was, was almost taking a shortcut. He was cutting the corner on the map so he could link up with Snipe Drone there. And that's going to allow them to retake Blue Bend. Still with a little bit of camouflage to play with as well. That's finally going to tick out. So Moe cannot be sneaky anymore. He needs to start taking fights. And well, and there's the old cartel buddy system. You take one down to no shields. Here comes Seeker sliding around the corner. That's been a trademark of their gameplay. And Seeker there almost gets a double as well. But this is this is really good for Notorious so far. The key thing for them is to, to not panic when they lose a stronghold like Catwalk. You don't want to overextend too much here because you start giving away kills. Yes, they get the reset, but... I mean, the trade-off for that, Richie, is the fact that they go three down, and now it's Cartel who can maybe push the triple and even look for the spawns early on, and that's what you do not want if you are notorious here going up against Cartel. 
during that passage of play. I have no idea how Shady managed to not only stay alive, but get a kill and finish the cap onto that catwalk, catwalk excuse me, and now immediately putting pressure onto that red nest. Cannot stop it, but does enough damage to maybe get his teammates to clean it up, and that's three dead. And now all of a sudden, power yeah. and big trouble. Big, that, big trouble here. That is so, so poor from Notorious. Trying to grab red nest with two people while they're not shooting, and you've just lost the first kill. This is how you surrender triple caps to Cartel. This is the trap you find yourself falling into. Now it's just about, again, for Cartel playing a game of Slayer. I don't know what... I think it was Mose and Kimbo thought they were doing that. Uh, SLG has just grabbed the overshield completely uncontested off your screens. And now Jimbo, if he can grab Catwalk here, this will help bide his team get... Well, I mean, help his team get a little bit of time. But, well, uh, SLG still with overshield. Three down for Notorious. They've done well, honestly, not to succumb to the triple here. And SLG is looking for Kimbo with the camo. I think both players here should survive quite handily. Great job out of Kimbo making SLG back down off the Catwalk. And then they were able to keep control of the catwalk for a little moment of time. They have a triple cap in effect, but it's not gonna last too long. As you're gonna see it very quickly dwindle down to two, but looks as though SLG is in a battle against the wall, but he's unable to do so. And okay. he's taken down by a combination of all three members, remaining members of Notorious. Now there's a triple cap in full effect and it looks all of a sudden as though Cartel are on the back foot. Yeah, we haven't really seen this from Cartel. I mean, we've seen it once or twice throughout the, the entire Halo 5 Pro Series, but I mean, that's been going on for a long while now. Now we get to see what their retake ability is like. It seems like they've been able to take Red Nest, Legend able to to grab that one. Now it's about where they go next. Often teams you see rotate through Turbine instead of going over to Catwalk and well, Shady off your screen is doing such a good job cutting off the angles. Kimbo in the kill feed goes down. That's going to allow Legend a bit more breathing room here on Blue Bend. Jimbo soaring in and that's going to be, well, scoring going to Cartel unless they can grab Red Nest away from them. But again, they're committing without the kills here. Notorious. This is the trap. This is the pitfall they often fall into against Cartel. And now a second chance to just slay out here for Cartel with total control. Yeah, it appears as though they get a little bit excited, a little bit ahead of themselves. And instead of keeping keeping on top of the slays, they try and sneakily cap bases while other bases are being played. Sort of like you do on Empire, but unfortunately it does not work unless you get some slays around and you're just getting four Frenchmen flying on you every single time you're trying to solo cap something because the rest of your teammates are dead. And now Cartel starting to answer back with some scoring of their own and they're starting to find themselves in a little place of dominance over shield in the chest of SLG or Sika, excuse me, as he gets a kill with the help of Legend as well. And Moe's gets a kill onto Shady elsewhere, but they're doing just enough at the moment to almost tie this up, Wonderboy. Yeah, I like Seeker's play here, pushing for Blue Bend. You know they're going to have to overextend at some point for another stronghold. If you can get a stop either on Red or Catwalk here, this is a positive play from Seeker. And yeah, you can see Sniper in there having to dip out. So that uh, capture on Blue Bend, so, so smart. You know Notorious are going to try and push for those strongholds. And, and Seeker now, I believe, he just has to, uh, well, contend with a rocket player. And again, a good trade. Really smart decisions from Seeker. And, that's something that we, you know, we don't get to see too much because he's not the flashiest players of players, but he is one of those guys who is always going to make the right decisions for the team. And a uh, really good play from Seeker and a five from Legend off screen is going to secure Blue Ben for them as well. You have maybe two or three more pushes here for Notorious. No power-ups or rockets coming up in the next 40 or so seconds. So you've got to make the play on the map. And well, three down should be a triple cap for Cartel. And this honestly could be game one. Yeah, it has to be said, over the last three or so life cycles, we've seen a member of of, the, of Notorious try and solo cap that red nest. It was Moe's, then it was Snipe Drone, and then Moe's again went back for more. And every single time he got taken down, solo capping just isn't the way in this game, especially against a roster with this caliber. And that's game one of the finals going over towards Cartel. Yeah, the same problems and the same pitfalls we see Notorious fall into here against Cartel. They did really good, actually, keeping it close right up into that final phase where they just got really sloppy. You can see it immediately there in the total control column, the difference between the pace of the two teams. Six instances of total control, albeit a few for, for just a moment to just two on the Notorious side. Checking out the kills, SLG leading the way. Uh, 18 and 10, that's a, a plus 8 spread spread from him. A plus 7 spread from Legend as well. 
but overall, again, if you look back on that game, if you're notorious, you watch the rebroadcast, you'll see these same mistakes, jumping in strongholds yeah. without kills. You can't do that against Cartel because you're basically putting a massive marker over your head saying, hi, Cartel, come and kill us. And they don't need that invitation. They do that already. So you need kills or at the very least damage on the map first. And, and unfortunately for Notorious, again, it's it's mistakes that we don't usually see them make. You can understand it to a certain point. You're panicked. The team is putting so much pressure on you, Harry. And so you're trying to get yourself a full hole in the game and somewhere a base, a foundation to start your push from. But every single time you do it, you're actually just opening the door and th this team knows exactly where you are. Like you say, you're just saying hello and fighting pressure on and every single time we're into the beat, they go down. So let's look towards Slayer Regret now as they tie up one to one. Now two to one in favor of Cartel. And looks as though they're starting off hot. But Kimbo importantly has the overshield. He looks like a lost kid in a supermarket <laughs> right now, being shot by so many different cartel members. So no overshield in play. Uh, four to three, a good early scrap from both sides, and now it's about getting height on the map. Uh, if you're if you're both teams, really, you don't want to be caught down low. Yes, sometimes the odd flank can work, but we all know how height advantage is so key in every iteration of Halo. So that's what you want to try and do here on Regret. Try and stay in the sight lines of teammates as well. Sniper doing such a good job staying alive. And that's actually going to allow Mose to take down Shady, who was chasing him. So very well played there from Snipe Drone. That is going to allow some of the cartel members to leak into areas like top middle. Like you see Seeker there. If he wins his fight on top middle, keep an eye on that kill feed. Well, Shady comes in with the trade. That's going to allow, uh, you know, a momentary... Uh, I suppose you could say uh, uh, an avenue for control there for Cartel and, and Snipe, Drone, Snipe Drone here forced down low uh, is going to have to start being a bit of a flanker. What we're seeing is at the moment Notorious have top control. It looked as though all their attentions turned toward that one player that was behind them and didn't manage to get the kill and because of that now they've actually three of the four members have fallen. Jimbo's last alive and down he goes over shield not for another 30 or 40 seconds or so so this should be all pressure from Cartel unless Notorious can maybe answer back get some kills. Down goes Snipe Drone to the hands of Sika. Legend though, it's a trade in the, in the kill feed and Moe's a, a big important kill. That could be enough to push them out of the base. Yeah, it's been a couple of times so far we've seen Kimbo just kind of walking out. Uh, not really aware of where the Cartel players could be playing from. You've got to assume they're going to be playing in your, in your face and, and trying to push into your base. Good kills coming in from Cartel right around the 10 minute mark, which means Overshield coming up in bottom middle. Once again, Kimbo uh, just trying to stay alive there. He's taken down and two down on the side of Notorious with SLG and his friend playing in bottom middle. That would be Legend. They're going to scoop up the second Overshield of the game. So we will see a bit of OS in play. It's in the hands of Legend and Shady as he goes down. Maybe it's time to see what uh, what this man can do. The superstar of Cartel. The man that you never want to find yourself in a one versus one with. Kimbo has the unfortunate task of uh, oh, he finding knows. himself in that exact situation. And credit to Kimbo there, staying alive. That's a fight you're never going to win. Kimbo put the brakes on the minute you've seen. Le Legend in a 1v1 is a, a tough task. Legend with extra shields in a 1v1. You put the brakes on, you spin around, and you get yourself out of dodge. And that's exactly what Kimbo has done. And he lived to fight another day. But Legend is now on the hunt. That overshield has now deteriorated. Not able to do enough with the overshield, you have to say. But at least didn't fall into the hands of Notorious. Legend gets that kill. That is now three dead as a trade to one. So they're just building and building now slowly. But surely they're now up by eight kills. This is good. Really good from Cartel. Yeah, and the reason Legend, you don't see him flying over towards blue after they get those three kills is because you want to try and block red side. You want to make the spawns predictable on the side of Notorious. So staying in red is, is influencing those spawns in that direction to allow the players on top middle to maybe get a cheap kill, a cheap five on a player just coming off the respawn. So uh, again, a nice heads up play from Legend. I know he and Shady have played enough money twos to know exactly the ins and outs of the spawn system on this map. There's a double Ooh. and it's another three down for Notorious with only one kill in reply, 31 to 22. If I'm notorious here, maybe you try and slow it down. I mean, Mo's pushing out against the firing squad of Cartel by himself isn't gonna get it done. You have to wait for an overshield. You have to make a push out together as one. Instead, you're getting picked off like, like lambs to the slaughter. Kimbo's gonna fly into two different Cartel players and you can see there, just standing still. He knew what he did. And, uh, well, we're 14 points away from another cartel victory here. And that would put them on to championship point in this series.
You know it's all going well when Legend clambers himself up top middle and just starts cleaning the house like a Royal Rumble, slapping the taste out of people's mouths left and right, gets himself a double kill, scoops up the over shield again once more, and the writing is on the wall if you're notorious. You probably just have to turn your attentions now to Game 3 and maybe hope and pray for a reverse sweep, but at the moment, Cartel just look imperious. They do. And it's so, so difficult to play against these these Money 2s type of players as we we are sort of, again, uh, uh, monikering them, if you will. Legend again, just go moving to red to make sure they all spawn at blue. Look at all those blue outlines over at blue. Uh, that's because of Legend moving over towards red to influence those spawns. They know this game type in and out. Regret Slayer, of course, one of the the game types played in Money 2s. I was in a, a 2s tournament recently, and I can tell you it's, it's not a fun map to play, Richie, when you play against players that, <laughs> that know how to do just this. And, and well, for now, again, I use the word so much. I use the F word a lot. It's a formality. Yep. Not that Cartel one. close this one out. It's almost a close that one. If you're, if you're notorious, are you just incredibly frustrated that you just, time and time again, this roster has the answers against you, Wonderboy? Well, I think you can... You can pinpoint, can't you, the, the exact moment when when we saw just players over committing and making these silly mistakes. It, it's it almost, I can't tell if it's halfway through the game, Notorious almost just completely forget about their discipline and try and, and overstep their bounds and, and try and go toe to toe with Cartel or whether or not it's Cartel manipulating Notorious and, and frustrating them and making them make these mistakes themselves. But uh, uh, it... it they get close until around the 30 kill mark and then Cartel just put the afterburners on. They shift it into sixth gear and and just completely fly out of sight. The only hope, hope for Notorious now for a chance at being the champions is Oddball Echelon. Now it looks as though Oddball Echelon is the last chance saloon if you're this Notorious roster. And can you, do you have the chance, do you have the ingredients to maybe come out on top of this? I have to say... In, in games gone by, they have looked very good in these oddball game types, and certainly Echelon as well. They gave as good as they got last time they matched up against them. They did marginally lose last time by 20 or 30 seconds or so, and even we, we've seen only a couple of seconds they lost the last oddball game that went to distance in five that series, so there is definitely room there to maybe take this game and bring us to a game four, but we definitely don't want to see a 3-0 to zero whitewash here, do we, Wonderboy? Uh, we we don't want to see that. No, is that what we're gonna see? I mean, probably, probably. Oh. Yes. Um, I hate to say it, but when you are already two 0 down in a series against a team that you're not sure how to counter and how to play against, um, it, it's always a difficult situation. We hop on to Seeker, just able to scoop the ball up after winning a one versus one. SLG has the rockets. I think the camouflage is still alive somewhere. We'll scroll through the points of view. It's Snipe Drone with it. Um, so there is a chance here for Notorious uh, to, to break this setup. It all hinges on this man. And uh, well, when you clamber up into the ball, you need a big play to come out of it. And just a one kill for that camo, I don't think that's a good trade for Snipe Drone. And that's going to result in more points here for Cartel. They just make the game look so easy, this cartel roster. They scoop up the ball, they just walk around the map, looks as though they're never in doubt, they're never under any real pressure. There's always a teammate there to support you. Legend gets a five onto Moe's and that will no doubt irk Moe's like there's no tomorrow. His nose will be well and firmly out of joint after that. It, it, it has to be frustrating if you're a, t if you're a player like Moe's who was on top of Europe for so, so long and just, you cannot have the answers against this this roster every single time you, you look good against them you drop the next map or you drop the game you, you look like as though you could take the game but then look at this again Moe's gets taken down by legend who then compounds it by getting himself a double kill on the snipe drop yeah it's a nice double but uh, all the time has been racking in notorious's favor finally cartel break the setup uh, is certainly much quicker than notorious were able to do and the first kill in favor of legend as you see there in the kill feed uh, is always going to help the situation out as well. But again, Notorious here. No trades coming in. They're just dying first. They're dying second. And there's no reply in the kill feed. That just cannot happen. You're going to hemorrhage 10, 15 seconds of time at a time per chunk, per death that isn't traded. Finally, Moe's is able to get a trade. That's going to give them more purchase on the map and they're able to now move forward and maybe force a play here from Shady. That's how you break a setup. Much better than pushing in one one by one unsuccessfully. And uh, well, S Jimbo in the kill feed, you see there, just killed by SLG. That was for camouflage, so now it's Cartel. Uh, 
uh, cartel with a camouflage, which is, I mean, it's a match made in heaven if you're French. Yep, you're going to be invisible and get yourself all around the map, tiptoe around the place. Nobody's going to know where you are. SLG gets the kill onto Kimbo as well. Who, and we had Snipe Drone using the last of the rockets, so they don't really have anything to counteract this camouflage. He has free roam on the map now. He's The, the, the shackles are off, and he's free to dance here, Wonderboy. Shackles are off, SLG, but again, look at the kill feed. I mean, yeah, oh, oh back smack oh, by Jimbo. That's the type of big play you need. Good play by Jimbo, and he's going to get this ball off the map as well to make things that much more difficult for Cartel. You just thought for a second there things might get very out of hand if SLG is allowed to play his life and be, be uh, sneaky and, and play, uh, like you said, with the shackles off. But Jimbo there putting an end to his life. Two kills go to Notorious. That's uh, replied by Shady with the plasma pistol here. But this is, this is better from Notorious. The only downside is they're not able to get any ball time from it and they're still locked out away from the ball and right as the ball comes back on the map they're three down mm, cartel just do such a good job don't they of extending every single play possible to allow teammates time to come back on the map and, and uh, right now notorious again just don't have the answer yeah notorious using so many resources just to stay in the game and keep this cartel roster just off the ball and not scoring anymore but they aren't actually able to turn this into any real points for, of themselves and for themselves Sika has the ball again and will look to play that ball as soon as any more pressure gets put on him and you can see him look look, look at this and just stand still there's no, still. Pressure. no, there's no pressure. pressure stand still on the stairs just looking for anybody to shoot so we control the ball at the map but nobody does so he just keeps the ball in his hand and keep racking up points and it's only a matter of time now it looks like the heads are gone for notorious yeah you need a big play and you need it very soon uh, SLG's just grabbed a new camouflage, that's burned. Seeker last alive with a fresh play ball. If I'm him, I'll maybe try and contest this ball early on. Instead, he goes down. This has to be a big, big setup here from Notorious. If they want any chance in this tournament, just keep an eye on that kill feed. Just, again, to get an idea of exactly where the team fight's going. I mean, Legend there was no shields and he fives Jimbo off screen. What he do does. you do when that's happening? He does not miss. In the heart of battle, he does not miss. Legend needs to be nerfed. I've said it time and time again. The guy is unbelievable at Halo 5. And now we see Jimbo scoring some more points. We now jump on board with the man, the myth that is the legend. As he puts down some shots, gets another kill as well. Jimbo, can he pop his shields? Yes, he can. Can he get the cleanup? He, he cannot do so at the moment. But Shady gets the kill at the most. Jimbo somehow gets a double kill who was actually down to no shields. Now Legend clambers into the window, has no idea where Jim is. It's a game of cat and mouse. And who's going to come out on top at the moment? Of course, it's Legend because he does not miss. Yeah, it's a good fight to win. Unfortunately, it's... It's not really going to do too much in terms of breaking the setup, especially when you go down to Snipe Drone. Uh, it did delay some point scoring for Notorious. Jimbo event against SLG is just a fight that you would want to see Jimbo win cleanly. He had SLG's shields popped and was just missing a couple of shots here or there. So, uh, Kimbo trading with Legend. I mean, that's maybe a plus if you're Notorious, but look at the score. 132 to 47 you need some points to go your way if you're notorious and you cannot allow cartel any more time on the ball two down for notorious i think that's probably game is mama graham around to maybe pull one of these internet connection maybe pull legends internet connection if we can get her involved get her sent over to france she seems to have what's needed to take down this roster get that ethernet cable pulled out and maybe they can get themselves in but time ticking over all the while two one g no a stop from kimbo but is it just delaying up to the inevitable as now Snipe Drone scoops up the ball. Could you imagine if we see... Mo's here with camo rockets, by the way. If we see the comeback of all comebacks, they need maybe 0 0.2 seconds on the ball to win the game. They cannot afford Cartel to touch this ball anymore. Anymore. That's it. Uh, we've seen some mad comebacks in this matchup before. We saw Cartel take Notorious down. I think this one is probably too oh, big of an arse though. There's yeah. the fresh four down and Cartel are the champs again. I have to say, you were selling me a dream there and I was willing to buy it. But it was only a matter of time really before Cartel got just any real purchase on that ball. And then they did. They closed out the series. It's 3-0 to zero again and they have won the Cartel Cup. That's what I'm calling it from now on. In 
unbelievable performance out of them all throughout the season and indeed last season as well. Can anybody, will anybody be able to take them down or is it a course of just everybody setting their attentions now to infinite and maybe see if they're just as good then as they are now? Well, just briefly before we move on to that point, um, legend, by the way, the way, 22 kills had 1,000 more damage than anyone else in the game uh, by himself, which is just absolutely unreal. Um, what is interesting about these these Halo 5 Pro Series Cups is that uh, apparently neither of those two teams are their full rosters. I, yes. I, knew, I knew Notorious are waiting for Respectful to come back in place of Jimbo. Uh, I also know that uh, apparently Sola is replacing SLG on Cartel. I'm not sure you know, whether or not the lads on Cartel might be rethinking that. Uh, based on how well they've done in the Halo 5 Pro Series. I mean, they only dropped one cup out of every single one, and their bank accounts are looking mighty fine right about now. Uh, but, I mean, we we are going to have to see... The, I mean, they're the target right now. They yeah. are. <laughs> they're, they're where everyone in Europe wants to be. They want to be the best. And Cartel is uh, just uh, leaps and bounds, head and shoulders above everyone else. Yeah, they're at the tippity top of the mountain and although Notorious are there and thereabouts, they just haven't got enough at the moment and Mocket then are a tier below that again and then it's just a, a, a massive drop-off, of course. But we do have more giveaways, Wonderboy. They're looking for more nameplates. We're just we're just, give, just giving out just, just nameplates for you. Name, we're like Oprah. Hey, here. Is, is this something I need to be paying attention to? Because I didn't... Are, I, are we doing more giveaways? Uh, are we giving... What's... Apparently, according to Spilly, there is meant to be meant to be four giveaways i think i know we did i think we did four didn't we we did two. We, did, we did spilly we did great red shift we did wonder boy we did jersey last chance for giveaway oh i think it's jersey is the last word so if you oh. if you want last chance last chance right now put jersey in the chat um if you want a chance of winning the giveaway which is being rolled right now so uh this information has probably expired by the time it's, it's broadcast yeah. to you yeah uh but anyway um I see Shady in the chat saying thanks, thanks, Jersey and Wonderboy. Honestly, mate, Sh Shady, thank you thank for you, putting man. on a show all season long. This is this is uh, an incredible lineup, and I I'd hope to see you guys uh, play with the same tenacity in whatever's next. So so thank you, my friend. Yes, Merci. GGs, GGs are a mercy, but cool, we'll say. Huh? We'll keep it real. Look at yeah. us. Look how cultured yeah, we are. Je t'aime, Shady. Je t'aime, oh. Cartel. Huh? Right, j'adore. I feel like it's got, we're going down now. We're, we're, we're on the boost. We're on, we're, on, <laughs> we're on the decline now. We need to stop while we're ahead. But that is going to do it for us, I believe. If the giveaway is done, it's all rolled. That is us for season two. And with what's next, we don't know if it's, if, if it's going to be a cup of our own or, or of course, if HCS are going to decide to do a season three. We don't know. It's all We're all waiting the wings and we've got fingers across. But until then, thank you so much to Wonderboy and thank you so much to everybody watching. This has been a great experience and we'll catch you all again very, very soon. Goodbye. Big name! Oh, big name.